with KHO and 2 weather, Justin Cruz. For tomorrow, partly cloudy conditions and windy weather as well. We'll go over those wind speeds in just a bit. Tonight's kind of a quiet night. We're not really seeing too much in terms of showers, but looking ahead, the headline is definitely some strong winds. Now, those winds have not triggered any kind of wind advisory, but that is not out of the realm of possibilities this week. There may be some uh, that are issued by the National Weather Service. So far, so good, though. Those winds have been strong, 20 to 30 miles per hour. We had some 40 mile per hour gusts earlier today. These high clouds are slowly clearing. Some of it may still be over the islands tomorrow morning, so there's a good chance for a beautiful sunrise. But for the most part, it is clearing the islands, so we'll get more blue sky and sunshine starting tomorrow. Just a few light windward showers that are forecast for the islands. There is some, uh, There are some storm remnants that will be sagging towards the islands Friday night. Let's give you a heads up, Friday into Saturday may be a bit wet. But tonight, the showers have been very isolated. They've also been very quick passing thanks to the strength of those trade winds. Not much happening in surf. The base we got is choppy east shore swell, trade swell at three to five, three footers for the south, two for the north and west shores. Weekend looks good, but it's gonna start off on the wetter side of the spectrum. Friday night into Saturday morning, 40% chance of showers by Saturday afternoon. Those storm remnants should be clearing the islands into a mostly dry weekend Saturday afternoon and Sunday with, of course, strong trade winds.